Mark, first of all, can I get an assessment of how the week's gone from your point of view? I think it's been another positive week for us. You know, we're trying to improve every time we get together. And for the players, it's been a bit of a challenge because they all played lots of games on Sunday, which meant they come to us a little bit tired and with some knocks and bruises. So, you know, the staff have had to work incredibly hard to make sure that we've got the players fully fit and fresh for the game tomorrow. But you know, it's still been a good week. You know, we've got some things done. We've got some work done, which we, we wanted to get done and feel we're in a really good place to cross the white line tomorrow and give it a, a good shot. It was a four-day meet-up. There was a lot of meetings, not that many training sessions but did you get all that you wanted to get into the, the four days yeah it is a challenge when you can't get yourself on the training pitch because you know as a footballer that where you want to be is on the match pitch or or out there on the training pitch actually playing and putting things into practice but you have to play with the cards you've been dealt and for us it was a matter of making sure that we got the information we got we needed to get across across the players and in this camp the best way to do that was through a meeting process and and play discussions and you know the players have, have really bought into that and and show their opinions and I feel now you know, we can go into the game on Thursday with a clearly clear idea of what type of game we want to play. Looking at Ukraine on Thursday Mark, on paper they're the toughest test in the group, ranked 24th in the world. Ready for the challenge? Yes, yeah, certainly. You know, we're looking forward to it. You know, it's going to be a tough game. We we know a lot about Ukraine. They're going to be very well organised and and got some real threats on the counter attack. So you know, probably a different challenge to Montenegro. The players will need to make sure that even though we want to open the game up and be expansive, we have to make sure we have good concentration defensively. That when we do lose the ball, we're in good positions to defend and try and get the ball back. So that'll be a different challenge to the players, but one I'm confident they're ready for, and certainly one they're looking forward to. You know, we've uh, it seems a long time since we last played, so you know, we're looking forward to playing in front of a good crowd and on a good surface and hopefully put on a performance and, and getting that result which we all want. You know, first and foremost we want to perform well. You know, it's a big challenge for us to keep improving and so far the players have, have done well, you know, through Cyprus, through La Manga, through the Montenegro game, we've always talked about we want to be better come the end of the, the game and the final whistle. And hopefully at the end of Thursday we'll be in a better position as a group and I'm sure if that's the case we'll get the result we want.